Hi, thank you for tuning in to this week's Sneak Peek. My name is Dale Salt, and I'm the lead pastor of Sandling Chapel. We've been in a series called Faith in Action, and what I'm challenging our congregation to do is don't just say you're Christians, let's act, let's act like it. Let's put our faith into action. Let's do something uh, that would be like what Christ would do. You know, I was thinking about it as I'm preparing for this coming week. We're talking about Thanksgiving, and thanks and giving go together, and that whenever you say you're a Christian, part of that means that you're generous. And I was thinking about the problems that I hear people complain about all the time. Here's some of the things I hear. I hear people say, man, my HVAC is out. My heat, my heat's gone or my air is gone. Or they'll say, I got these problems with the school teachers or the school administration or the school district. Or I'll hear them say, hey, I need more vacation time. I don't have enough time off. But my company's this and my company's that. Or child care. Child care's so expensive. I can't afford child care. Or the cable and satellite guy, they don't come and my cable don't work half the time. Or they'll say, hey, my cell phone service, my cell phone's this or my cell phone's that, or healthcare issues, or my computer crashed, or my internet's too slow. But you know what? All these problems that I hear people complain about, they're rich people problems. If you're in another country, you don't worry about your cell phone service. You're not worried about the kids' administration, school administration, because education's not an option. And you don't worry about your internet or your cable or anything because you're not there. We live in the most affluent nation in the world. So the Bible has a lot to say to us rich people. So I don't want you to miss it. I want you to know what the Bible says directly to you about for, for who you are and what your responsibility is as a rich person. So I hope to see you this week, Thursday at 7 or Sunday, 9 or 11 a.m.